Devin Futrell, the SEC Pitcher of the Week, after his first career complete game shutout last Sunday against Illinois State. Went the distance through a five hitter and faces this Auburn lineup. This offense really tries to do. Down for ball four, so Weiss. One, two to the right side. Davis, only play will be to first. He throws out Irish. Weiss moves over to second with one out. To capitalize on that. Throwing strikes. Fly ball center field. Give me a long run for somebody as Polk. Running in to make the catch, goes to the turf. Two outs. Struck first in the first inning, each of the first two games of this series. Now taking off for third, and Weiss will make it without a throw to add to his SEC leading total. That's 16 steals and 17 attempts. Right side and through. Auburn again, striking in the first inning. Two out RBI single by Cooper McMurray. The Tigers lead 1 0. Ball four, so Vanderbilt has a one-out base runner as Diaz heads down to first. Bouncer out to short. Take the short way as Weiss goes to Hernandez. And Vanderbilt's done in the first inning. No is going to give them a chance to win, and that has been Futrell. It's Carter Wright getting the start behind the plate, and lines a single to right. Give Auburn a leadoff base runner for the second straight inning. 368, having a terrific season. Bunts, first base side. It's going to be a tough play. He is tagged out by Futrell. Nope. This is probably the better look here. The call in the field is going to be overturned to out. Two and two. Left field and a base hit. Stanfield takes advantage. A single to left. They hold up right at third. Auburn has runners to the corners with one out. Climbing back in the game a couple times. Down the left field line, that's a fair ball. Run's gonna score for the Tigers. Right is in. Stanfield digs for third, he's safe, and it's an RBI double for Hernandez. Auburn taking a two nothing lead here in the second with one out. Fly ball, deep right field, it's Polk. This should get a run home for Auburn. Polk makes a catch. Hit back up the middle, past everybody. Auburn adds one more. RBI single with two outs by Irish. 27 RBIs to match his teammate Cooper McMurray. Bobby Pierce, seventh man to bat of the inning. Shoots one out to center field. Hewitt has a play and makes a catch. That one extra is super important. Hit back up the middle. Troy Leneve has his second hit of the series. A little cool on Friday, but perfect yesterday and really nice today. They had him played up the middle. Hernandez, an easy 4-3 double play. Right side, and a good at bat by Matthew Polk as he lines a single to right. Comes in at 321. Another ball back up the middle. Tipped off the glove of Weiss. Everybody safe. Three for eight, two for four, a double, a triple, an RBI, and three runs yesterday. Center field for a base hit. They wave Polk to the plate. No throw. Vanderbilt's on the board. It's four to one. RBI single by Jonathan Vastine. 0-2 to Austin, rolled right side. McMurray can't get it. Everybody's safe again as Austin makes his way to first. The bases are loaded for Davis Diaz. First needs to throw a strike. 3-0 coming up to Diaz, taking all the way, and it's ball four. Walks in a run to make it 4-2. 1-2, Gonzalez trying to do some damage control right back to the mound, and that's it for Vanderbilt. Trying to go to. And he come back and kind of give back to that, that school. McMurray looking for his second hit. He has it. Retrieved on the warning track by Hewitt. And close play at second as the throw comes in. But McMurray is there with a the leadoff double. Futrell, another one-two pitch. He gets Fabian swinging. You know, learn from guys who are doing it at the next level. Austin on the short hop to the bag. Auburn done in the third. Up the middle and through, Jonathan Vastine. Lead off single to begin the fourth. Huh, maybe he didn't see the wipe off. Vastine goes, strong throw to second, safe. Smash, left side, glove by Weiss. He throws to third and they cut down Vastine. Got a pretty good lead, might be going here. Bluff going, Diaz 
goes the other way for a single to right center. Austin goes first to third. One out threat for Vanderbilt in the fourth with runners at the corners. Peel to first, he went. Espinal out on strikes. Bauman comes in and gets a huge second out for Auburn in the fourth. Is hey, just let the pitch go and then we'll call it on the backside. Pitch gets away from the catcher right. The speedy Austin comes home to score to cut Auburn's lead in half. It's four to three. Pay off to Bulger with two outs, strike three. Be some cool stuff when it's done. 0 2 pitch. High fly ball, center field. Hewitt looking up. McMurray has his second home run of this series, about to the same spot both times. A solo shot to start the Auburn fifth. Make it a 5 3 game in favor of the Tigers. I don't think he needed the win, but the ball was tagged. He got up there with a little bit of wind and just kept riding out of here. That ball was smoked. 2-2 two two to Fabian, out on strikes. Mason Mainers back to the mound. Futrell runs and flips. Auburn is done in the fifth. Takes ball four, one out base runner for the Commodores in the fifth. Shows bunt again and puts it down right side. It's a good one. Perfect. And he's going to be safe at first. Hernandez, the only chance was to barehand it. Runners at first and second for Vanderbilt with one out. 3-2 pitch again. Ball four. Hewitt works a walk, and they'll be loaded for Vastine. Runners leading from every base. Out on strikes. Nice pitch. A one count, and it hit him. Vanderbilt's going to get a run on a hit batsman to make it 5-4 to four as Davis comes in to score. Trying to make a pitch and leave him loaded again. Hard hit ball right at Weiss. The short way to second, and Auburn leaves him loaded for the second time today. Right field, will it hang up? Yes, as Polk gets to it to retire the side. One or both of those teams playing deep into the tournament. Right side, base hit, Allen Espinal. First pitch of the sixth inning is a single. Bauman sees this one sent through the right side. A second hit of the day for Leneve. Bulger puts on the brakes at second. Draw a throw, and the ball hit him. It's going to get to move up 90 feet the easy way. Ball gets loose, and Vanderbilt two on and a key spot in the sixth. Line drive, left center field. Vanderbilt's going to take the lead. Humphrey scores easily. Here comes Leneve. It's a two RBI double for Jaden Davis. And for the first time today, Vanderbilt's in front. It's six to five. Hewitt's had a good series as well. Five for 10, 0-2 pitch, got him. Fastball inside. Through with Davis. Fast eye to the gap in right center field. This one down and headed toward the fence. Coming on to score is Davis. Hewitt with the great speed. He'll score as well. Jonathan Bastines had some huge hits in this series. And Vanderbilt adds on two more to the lead. It's 8-5. to five. Been on base three times a day. Shoots this one toward left center field and deep. To the track and track down on a great play by Chris Stanfield. Now has 22 of the two he's hit in this series. 2-2 two -two pitch. Out on strikes. He went a couple steps toward right center. Strike three. 100 mile an hour fastball. It's just unhittable. Down the right field line, took it the other way. Wright has his second hit. Gonna stop right there at first base, a one-out single for the Tigers. It's a few guys from the portal. Well, that ball went off the mid of Espinal. Out at first, three and a 2-2 count to Stanfield. And he's gonna get it done, base hit to right. They wave in right. Here comes a throw to the plate and he's safe. Two out RBI single for Chris Stanfield. Going to second, able to score. Stanfield on the move. Bounce to the right side, nobody home. Makes his way into right field for a single. Stanfield moves over to third, and Auburn not done yet here in the eighth inning. One strike count. 0-2 from Carter. Pitch coming up to Weiss. 0-2 again. Weiss, 1-2 with a runner on the move. Down for ball two, and now two in scoring position. Now the tying run at second base. Two and two. Two in scoring position in a two-run game. Out on strikes, but the ball gets away. Espinal gets to it. The throw to first in time. 
Big wow. play by the Commodore catcher. Be consistently good, and a lot of it starts with good starting pitching, and Vanderbilt has had that. That one ate up the third baseman, Fabian. Polk on base for the third time. Four spot that's made the difference in the game. Fast dive to the right side, keeps on swinging that bat. Polk digging for third. Here comes a long throw in, and now Vastine's gonna go to second as Pierce. A ball and a strike. Austin, big bouncer left side. It gets past Fabian. The throw by Wise, not in time. Polk scores from third. Out of that bottom of the order, too. Austin on the run. Fake throw to second. He steals. Two in scoring position. Right field. Pierce on the run, and he got it. Needs a strike on a 3-0 pitch, can't get it. It's ball four, and three strikeouts since then. Ginther sees this pitch, line towards center. It's Hewitt, a sweep for Vanderbilt. The Commodores win nine to six. Commodores extend that win streak to 13 games in a very impressive opening weekend of SEC play.